What's up ladies and gentlemen, as I sat here editing all the footage from all the havoc that went down a few weeks back with all the clans, and yes, every single clan is pretty much down except Ion Clash 6.0, and that clan only survived because, well, I was there, and so what went down will be described in this video. It's not exactly the happiest story in the world, so if you don't want your day ruined, I suggest you click off this video. But if you guys are interested in all the drama that went down while I made all these happy top 10s and all these amazing researchful videos for you guys, then feel free to keep watching. Now, I will mention this tiny little disclaimer. When I, uh, that's the reason you, uh, you guys are seeing my editing screen right now. Well, half of it, here's the other half. But anyhow, you guys are only seeing this because as I went through the footage, this is all the footage, this is all the footage, it's just, there's a lot, okay? But anyhow, as I went through all these voiceovers and all the shots, I thought, why put this up? Because, basically, what I would have, if these videos had gone up, about 10 people would no longer have access to their bases. Most likely, they would have been banned within 24 hours. I was that ticked off, and I did a pretty good job getting my point across in these voiceovers. But I don't plan on posting them, since I believe in second chances, or for some people third, and for others, maybe even three chances. But there is a limit, and so I made this part of the voiceover as just a warning to all of you guys who were involved in the destruction of every single Ion clan. Now, if you guys ever go and mess around with the leaders of these new clans, the ones that I'm currently attempting to make for these subscribers, guess what? Life's not going to be very pretty for you guys. You're going to have some explaining to do to the big guys at Supercell because their policies are pretty strict. And if you have the right screenshots and maybe even the right video and maybe even 30,000 subscribers, you can get a handful of things done. But without further ado, let's go ahead and tell this story. Alright ladies and gents, so I guess the story begins with Ion Kingdom, and although this wasn't the original clan that sort of got taken over, it was one of the very first clans to get, well, destroyed. And Spank thought it would be a brilliant idea to come to Ion Kingdom and ask for a leader. And why exactly would the leader of a level 5 clan give up leader? Well, I was really unsure, so I thought of a way to test this little theory. I basically made a fake clan. This was known as Ion Masters. I gave it a lot of hype, I said that this was an official clan, I'm gonna launch it really soon, and that we have to be really protective of it, alright? But what I really wanted was to catch these guys in the act. I wanted to see what exactly would happen if I left this clan running and then left to see if the people who destroyed Ion Kingdom would try to destroy this clan as well. Would my test work? Well, let's see. Now, at this point in time, I actually knew what clan these guys were just taking a spot in. Now, by the time I got to shooting this footage, they had left the clan and I was wondering, what do they plan and what exactly were they going to do? Were they gonna do it soon? Turns out I was actually right. So basically this clan was packed at one point. It's known as Reunion Mate. It doesn't exist anymore as of me doing this voiceover. But regardless, this is basically where all the planning happened. How to get rid of Ion's supposed YouTube channel. You'll see that in the chat. And how to spam clans and how to get rid of all of them. It, it was like it was like Clash of Clans terrorism going on here. It's, it's nuts. Okay. So anyhow, I thought we'll skip ahead to the actual conversation that I caught them doing and I figured out how exactly they managed to join all these clans. One of the people inside of this clan was of course Spank and he is where our story begins. Spank attempted to join the clan and he basically was an idiot and he showed off exactly how he took over all these clans so as you guys can see the conversation goes like this what hey gladden will you stay do you have kick no bindle no can you go on kick please it's important what could it possibly be let me just maximize that real quick and so conversation gets pretty spicy what exactly is going on here so let's scroll down just a little bit okay i can't because i need to show proof what is it of it's a secret Ooh, tell me only leaders can know <laughs> the hilariousness of that, right? Do you have Skype? Yep. How about on Skype? Um, what's your Skype? Wait, let me check. I deleted Skype. Download Kick then. Gladden is just trolling so bad right now. It's hilarious. Anyhow, it's like Mech Green one I doubt that exists, so don't bother Skyping it. Skype him and ginger you on. Yeah, it's... Uh, 
bunch of gibberish going on down there. I can't find it. <laughs> well, just tell me. Okay, so Spank finally gives in. This is where it gets cool. Alright guys, so shout out to Gladden for being an absolute genius. As you guys can see, Spank goes, Ion told me to come here and get leader to keep this clan safe as Ion Kingdom got destroyed. The hilarious part is Spank's the one who actually destroyed it. I don't believe you. That's why I have proof. Did Ion tell you? Yes, he told me on kick. No. Didn't you help, uh, troll yesterday? No, that was Mike Rocks. Wow. I was trying to stop it. What did Ion post his new vid? It wasn't Mike. I thought Mike was. Did Ion post a new post? No. Not that I know of. Then when's he gonna post a new vid? And I joined at that exact moment. After all the clans are on lockdown. Hey, Ion. Promotes me twice. LOL. When's the next vid, Ion? Gets kicked. So, that's all I needed for the footage. Gladden, once again, shout out for being brilliant. As you guys can see, this is how he did it. He basically had a, I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna assume. So he probably made a fake Ion Moss account on probably Kick or Bindle or Skype or whatever the heck. And he took a screenshot of him chatting with himself of me supposedly saying something, probably like, OMG Spank, you're the most gracious person in the world. You should go to all the clans and get leader and keep them safe. Actually, I would never do that. Just putting that out there. So basically, he used this screenshot to basically persuade quite a few of the leaders that it was originally for me. And since I was not able to follow him fast enough to all these clans, um, as you guys can see here, he basically succeeded pretty well, actually, to the point where he eventually got to get Ting rid of Ion Kingdom. So that's basically how he almost took over our Ion Masters <laughs> and uh, how he really did take over Ion Kingdom. But still, we tried to get it back from him. As Ion Kingdom was on the verge of dying, we tried really hard, and this is what we did trying to get it back. As you guys can see, this is me in Ion Kingdom, and it's actually a screenshot. Um, this was basically, I knew that the kingdom was about to die, or uh, not the kingdom, well, technically speaking, the kingdom, but I knew that the clan was about to die, and I felt really bad, so I wanted to take a handful of screenshots of the clan before it really did. That was the last war that Ion Kingdom ever did. And as you guys can see, the clan currently had 31 out of 50 members, and it was doing really well. They were all max Town Hall 7s, all max Town Hall 8s, warring really, really well, warring daily, and they were focusing and doing all that good stuff. Simultaneously, I updated the website, which now needs to be re-updated because all the clans are gone. But anyhow, I made this awesome requirement thing. I made it really easy to join, how to contact us. I actually spent like an hour and a half getting screenshots uh, from my device, copying them onto my computer, and then uploading them onto this site so you guys could find the clan tag and the amount of people and the rules a lot easier just via the site. Now, of course, the site consists of plenty of comments all saying, OMG, where'd all your clans go? I can't find it and my comment section is going nuts so eventually I had to make this video as you guys can see this was Ion Kingdom's very special page one of the guys actually commented glad to be an IK and all that good stuff but I guess all good things must come to an end um, no we're not having that but apparently Spink had other ideas the rest of this video is a lot of screenshots simply because I wasn't actually like going to spot on make a solid video or series out of this the footage was so long it would be completely impossible We're already nine minutes into the video and i'm barely done with this video but the point is i took a lot of screenshots for supercell to tell the truth and in the last screenshot the one that you guys probably just read and saw basically i just described how to spot a fake baby ion because apparently um spank i don't know who did to tell the truth but someone made a bunch of fake baby ions and they were using that to try to come to these clans as well i know what are you 12 probably as you guys can see, okay, this is a random screenshot. I tweeted this out. Um, Victoria, shout out to you for a requesting 1 billion times to attempt to join Ion Clash 6.0. And uh, you spent your good 20 seconds in there, and you got to say hi to me, so that's a positive as well. Okay, now moving on to the really serious stuff. So where should one of these screenshots be? Okay, so as you guys can see, you're mad. Well said, Ion. LOL the mail. LOL, wise words of wisdom. Um, this basically has to do with me trying to sort of hype up the clan in a time of complete, like, chaos. Everyone was active during this time, because everyone was talking about how all the other clans are dying and all this other good stuff. Meanwhile, I was having a cool little conversation on Kick. As you guys can see, he says, tell James to chill out or, um, and do something. He said he'll kick you. Nope, I skipped that a little too fast. Alright, so he said he'll kick you on the spot. Aw, oh, why is he butthurt about? No idea, I guess he moved on. Tell him I asked. 
If he's moved on, why is he trying to take over our clans? And not to F with Ion Clash. He took it to save it, he said. Hitler took Germany to save it too. Didn't end well. Good joke, right? No. <laughs> if we if we aren't asking to be saved, then don't. Um, clearly they were not saving Ion Kingdom. It, it was doing perfectly fine, like I just showed you guys. And the word save is hilarious. Um, it kind of bugs me. Same. More like, it's hard. James and I were friends for a year. Friends. Mm -hmm. You don't really know the guy though. Steel, Ion Clash, that's the better word. So um, after this, we basically talked about how long. For exact, you came in April of 2014, but that's so much. James has been around since November, and Troll's been around since February. These are basically like the Ion Clash at one point celebrities, later, not really. This is what Ion Kingdom looked like under the rule of good old Spank. They had a few decent people. Mike was there trying to get it back and all that other good stuff. And to many, the clan may actually look good. What they don't realize is that these guys were all about to leave and be scared off by me. So basically, I requested to join Ion Kingdom. And I told them I had a few things they may want to listen to. My idea of getting back Ion Kingdom was to fight fire with fire. So of course, Mike Rocks had just been kicked out and I knew that it was pretty much the verge of losing a level 5 clan and I really don't want a clan that we spent 6 months on to just disappear. I think Ion thinks I'm on his side uh, still and Zombie, you may for you my friends, I can never let you guys down. Now let's destroy Ion clans. LOL says Ion Helper, I have no clue who that is. And then LMAO Swag. On to the next screenshot, things get a little bit worse because they start pushing at po I took these screenshots for Supercell once again. They start discussing points that are like, you're taking it way too far at this point. Alright, so let me just load that real quick and there you go. Ion can't F around with my friends, so my plan is that I want them to trust me. That's not gonna happen, you're like Town Hall 1. Yes, yeah, Wag, Wow, Chief Troll, and holy F word, I should probably censor that out, but it's okay. Lil Solar, by the way, Lil Solar is James' second account. If you've been watching the channel for a little bit, you know exactly who James is. And that's basically that screenshot. Then, moving on, things get even worse, alright? Yeah, as if things can't get any worse than this. His friends are import are more important to us, yeah, yeah because I, he just wants fame. Kale's only in Ion Clash for fame. What do you think of that, Kale? Are you really only here for fame? <laughs> Absolutely not, I highly doubt that. And But the subscribers go, but Ion, that's not that bad, they're only talking trash about your leaders. Well, then this happens. He goes, so if we destroy his channel, then people would leave, but destroying his channel is a big dick move. Okay, first of all, you wish to destroy my channel. Okay, first of all, have fun with that. Number two, you think it's not the best idea in the world. Well, no duh. First of all, you're gonna end up failing because I, I don't see how you could possibly try to destroy a YouTube channel. Like, haters can hate, comment, dislike, whatever, but in reality, the subscribers will always outnumber you no matter how much hate you put and that's what this clan uh, this clash this, this channel the clan and of course the game kind of runs on no matter how many haters and dislikes there are the subscribers always win so as you guys can see right here how did i get these screenshots basically I had a person on the inside. He did not get the screenshots for me. He basically kept inviting me back as he kept kicking me over and over and over. They did this about 18 or 19 times. It got to the point where I simply did not have mail anymore. I could not see previous mail. It was all, you've been kicked out of this clan. You've been kicked out of this clan. You've been kicked out of this clan. And it was really depressing. Regardless, every single time I went, I scrolled down really quickly to the last section and I took a screenshot and I got kicked. I did it again, got kicked, did it again, got kicked. So I was able to get all these little snippets of the conversations right before I get kicked one last time. They eventually found the person who was inside the clan and they kicked as well which is where the screenshots more or less end. about a day or so later I tried joining back one more time and I told them as I said before I had some interesting news that they may want to hear and I basically threatened them with sending them and the screenshots and everything I had to Supercell and potentially making well this video which was supposed to be the original video guys trust me it was not pretty but anyhow 
this after a handful of weeks I thought I'd make this video and as you guys can see this was basically my last conversation inside of Ion Kingdom at this point in time people got the message I was not messing around every single person left the clan except Spank who was leader and he promotes me to Ko and then uh, he asks so you're gonna get my account permanently banned and I asked him do you want this clan or do you want your base that was one of my last threats apparently he told me he wants the clan but apparently he didn't want the clan because he eventually kicked me and he left just like that that was the end of Ion Shortly after this, I came back to Ion Clash and I said, a sad day, we have lost Ion Kingdom. Cheers to all who tried to get it back, but even Supercell was not enough. And that, guys, is how we lost Ion Kingdom. I don't understand how exactly, why exactly someone would spend the time to go and do that. Do you want to be on YouTube? But in reality, it's not you, it's a username that's on YouTube and it's a pain in the butt username. I didn't want to make a video, if not for all the comments, I wanted to sort of fix up all the clans and get them sort of running again, but the exact opposite happened. As Ion Kingdom faded, people from Ion Jumps thought it would be a great idea to troll, because they thought it was funny. Eventually they kept changing the description, and eventually Alex, or not Alex, X-Ray, the person who was leading Ion Jumps, just gave up. He gave away leader and he left the clan, just like that. Everyone in that clan was kicked as well. It no longer exists. A similar thing happened in Ion Champs. Now the story actually began with Ion Champs, but since Ion Champs was so irrelevant and no one knows about it, it's a clan for second accounts, that it didn't really impact anything. I didn't expect it to go this far. And finally, the last clan was Ion Legend. That clan, however, I kinda kicked on my own terms. And I kicked the whole clan because of a special project that's coming up shortly. And instead of trying to rebuild all these clans, I thought the only way to maintain all these clans was to make them so replaceable that it would be impossible to destroy them. So the idea here was to keep almost every clan level 1 except 1. And we basically destroyed every clan, we got rid of all of them. Um, the rest, <laughs> there was only one left, or one or two I think. What's the other one? Yeah, Ion Clash and Ion Legend, those were the last two standing. Um, we basically, Ion Clash still exists, I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with that, but anyhow, we decided that we want to keep every clan level 1 from now on, and that way, as soon as a clan maybe gets taken over or there's drama, we can replace that clan in mere seconds. As of making this video, I am currently in the process of making all these new clans and potentially launching them shortly, maybe within the next few videos. But I did want to not, I didn't want to launch a bunch of random clans and then you guys would be like, wait a minute, what happened to the other ones? Why are they just gone? I didn't want that question to be there, so I made this video. It is a really long video. If you manage to watch all of it, then wow, you are a true subscriber. Like, I should like your videos, literally. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the story, it wasn't really that enjoyable, but I guess it could be entertaining in a sense. Feel free to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. I will not be posting more drama. I'm not going to say please subscribe for no more drama videos, but do expect some new top 10s. As if top, ten, top 15 most popular names in Clash of Clans was not an original idea, I have some video ideas that are going to leave you guys speechless. And with that happy thought, hopefully you guys stay subscribed and keep liking the videos. Keep clashing. Thank you for watching. This is going to be me. Locking off.